Can you prove it? Learning to use the text to prove your answers. Showing your thinking with words from the text is one way to really help you understand what you read. There are many words that will help you answer questions you may have about a story or an informational article. Here are some ways to describe what you find. On page, it said, the author wrote, the picture shows, an example is, in the text it said, I know because, I think because, according to the text. Let's practice. Follow along as I read the story aloud. Oh no, not again. Sunshine sprinkled the grass as the children ran around Dawson Park and played hide and seek. Jenny, Garen, and Anna were in the same second grade class at Lakemont Elementary School. They lived in the same neighborhood. Every day the children would play together in the local park. Jenny and Garen were hiding from Anna. They needed to find an excellent hiding place because Anna was shrewd and always seemed to be able to find them. Had the children played hide and seek before? How do you know? Take a look in the text and see if you can find the place where it says that they have played hide and go seek before. Yes, because in the text it said, every day the children would play together in the local park. Did you find it? Good job. Take a look this time. Was Anna good at playing hide-and-go-seek? How do you know? Take a look at the underlined portion of the text. I think Anna is good at playing hide-and-go-seek because... It said that she was shrewd. She also was able to find the kids quickly and surprise them. They ducked behind the old maple tree in the middle of the park. They tried to catch their breath and at the same time make themselves invisible. 23, 24, 25, ready or not, here I come, shouted Anna. Anna started searching all over the park. She looked behind the slide, but she didn't spot Jenny and Garen. She ran to the monkey bars and climbed to the top, but she still didn't see them. Then Anna spied the big maple tree in the middle of the park. She climbed down from the monkey bars and scampered to the tree. She stood on one side of the tree and Jenny and Garen stood on the other side of the tree holding their breath. Anna looked around and around, but still she did not see them. Slowly, Anna circled the tree with her back to the park so she could see everything happening in the park. Jenny and Garen also walked slowly around the tree. They tried to stay just enough ahead of Anna so that she wouldn't see them. They took one more step and you're it, shouted Anna, laughing at the looks of disbelief on Jenny and Garen's faces. Oh no, not again, they groaned. Anna, you always find us, moaned Garen. He turned to Jenny and said, I'll be it this time. Anna laughed with glee and told Garen to start counting as she ran to hide. How did the friends feel about playing with Anna? How do you know? Take a look at the text and see what you can find. The kids were sometimes frustrated playing with her because in the last paragraph it says, You're it, shouted Anna, laughing at the looks of disbelief on Jenny and Garen's faces. Oh no, not again, they groaned. Anna, you always find us, moaned Garen. The author used words like groaned and moaned to describe how they felt. Now you have had practice using the text to prove your answers. Way to go!